You are a big part of letting people across this nation and our very isolated culture know that they are not alone this Christmas season. We want to send you a huge thank you for all that you do. And hey, you know, we still need your help to keep this going every single day. So if you want to join us and let people know that they are not alone, give us a call 1-800-265-3100. Well, the island of Puerto Rico is still reeling from the devastation of Hurricane Maria, which decimated its power grid and cut off water and food to many of its residents. To make matters worse, its destruction was severely underreported by the news media. A recent poll by the Washington Post found that the damage reported in Florida and Texas had three times the coverage of Puerto Rico. But it has not been forgotten by God or by people of faith. Our partner on the ground is here to bring us an update on how you have been able to help. Jeff Nini, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. It wasn't that long ago you and I were on the ground in Puerto Rico, just five no. weeks after the hurricane. We found so many people that were saying to us, you're the first help anyone we've seen, and we're right around the main capital where all the aid's pouring in. What is happening now? Th that was an amazing experience, hearing that from people. Can you imagine being five weeks and not knowing where your next meal's coming from? Um, and and it, I'm, I'm excited to report that, that things have improved since then. We, we've had a lot more coverage now of, of being able to get product into the hands of people. Uh, the way the local church has stepped up and is getting involved in the distribution. Uh, it's just been exciting to see what God's doing in that island. We're seeing right now some of the work, there you are right there, some of the work <laughs> that you do in Puerto Rico, handing things out. And one of the keys is working through churches. Why does it matter to mobilize the church on the ground? I think one of the keys things that we've found out through the years is that there is going to come a day, any disaster, any outreach we do, there comes a day when Convoy of Hope closes the doors and we go home. Mm -hmm. But the local church is still there. And who better to be there for that individual? Say, for example, if you're a person in need of help and you receive help, a month later you go back and you want to remember, you want to thank those people or you need more help. You've got that local church now. So we're, we're, we're doing what Jesus did, really. It was an example of what Christ did. We're getting the church outside the walls of the church and helping people in the communities. Jesus always went to where people were. He didn't sit in the synagogue and wait for them to come. He went out among them, and that's what we're trying to do as well. And I think, too, it's a network that's already set up and uh, just can get aid to places that big organizations mm -hmm. can't get to as quickly. You know, just quickly here, Jeff, why does it matter that we as people of faith do that? Because this, this country is being forgotten. It really is. And, and I think it matters because you've got three million people, give or take a few, on that island that God loves as much as he loves you and I. They mean every bit as much to him as we do. Mm. And we, we don't have a corner on God's love. Yes, right. and, and I think that's our responsibility is to show that love to them. Let them know God hasn't forgotten them. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for all you do and for coming here to bring an update. We didn't have enough time, oh, but it's, it's I know pleasure. the work is ongoing. It is, but we thank you guys for your part and your viewers. And if you still want to join us in our work in Puerto Rico, you can do that. Give us a call at 1-800-265-3100. You can also go to crossroads.ca. We need to continue to let the people of Puerto Rico know they're not forgotten. And for those of you who've already given, take a look at what they had to say. Thank you, Canada. Thank you. I know, Canada, can you go to help Puerto Rico? I know that with my heart. Thank you, everyone. God bless you and God bless your family. Thank you, Canada. Thank, Thank you, Canada. Canada. Thank, Thank you, Canada. Canada.